you've got this. They're fine. You're mostly fine. Those things are gone. It's all right. Everything's all right. All right. All right. Oh, you're awake. I didn't think you'd be up so soon. You should probably go back to sleep, actually. Maybe... Whoa, wait, wait. Don't move so fast. I know this is scary, but you've been through some bad stuff, and if you move around too much, you could... Uh-oh. Wait a second. Don't move. I tried my best to bandage you up, but I'm not the best. Let me... What are you doing? Last time you... Oh. Yeah. You weren't there last time. <sighs> I told a lot of crap to that... That fake... I guess I shouldn't be surprised. But, but I saved you. I did. You know I did. I saved you twice, damn it. I stopped those drug dealers. I got shot like 20 times doing that. And, and, and I went down into this weird cave beneath an abandoned processing plant and got claws deep in a hole bunch of weird shape-shifting things and one bit me and then they all knew they knew and, and oh no I'm, I'm so sorry just I'll, I'll back off okay I didn't mean it I'm just I'm just tired very tired and things like me don't get tired very easily I really really want to take a nice hot bath and find some nook to sleep in but you've had it worse I don't know what they wanted with you I won't ask and I'm sure you must be thinking that you've been thrown from the fire and into the tiger cage, but I just want you to know that I won't hurt you. This isn't some territorial thing. I'm not saving my meal from other predators. I, I swear this to you. Here. They had this with your other stuff. You remember how I reacted that night in the carnival? I've only ever been hurt that badly once before. You're a quick shot. If I tried anything, you could just put a few in my noggin. Get a hell of a good head start on me, or... Or... or or I bet you could finish me off if you emptied that thing into me. I'm not bulletproof. You can stay there, I guess. I mean, I, I don't want to force you into anything, but sleeping like that will probably make you feel worse. Okay, again. I get it. I'll leave you alone, but please don't try escaping. This house isn't really mine, and I'm not sure I actually know where we are. We're definitely somewhere close to a city. You can see the lights outside. Look, um... I'm kind of in a pickle here, so I'm gonna go think for a bit. Uh, 
If you need something, please let me know. I think the plumbing is still working and I can find something if you're hungry. Oh, hey, again. Uh, so, I think we're in Arizona, and your house is in Michigan. I'm really fast, but the fight back there, it's, well, I think it's taken a lot out of me, and I don't feel comfortable with taking you into the mirror world in your state. I'm running on empty here, so... I saw that you have one of those cell phone things, so I'd... If you're okay with it, I'd like to call my therapist. What? I, I thought I mentioned him the first time at your house. Yeah, his name's Dr. Price. He's the one who's been helping me. Yes, he he knows that I'm a, a monster. He's, uh... Huh? Oh, oh no, he's human like you. Yeah, he, he helps people. He helps people like like me and the people that people like me have hurt. Oh yeah, there's a little group of us. About four more. I don't know if I call and he's not too mad. I Oh my god. I missed our Tuesday appointment. Oh, I totally forgot. <sighs> Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. He can't get any madder than he's already gonna be. Okay, okay. Oh, um, so... Your phone. Thanks. What? Oh, well, how can I convince you that I'm not lying? Speakerphone? Which button is that? Oh, okay. You. No, you've only missed one of our sessions. Once in the two and a half years you've been in my care. So, it stands to reason that something significant happened. Would you like to talk about it over the phone, or do you want to come back? Well, I was hoping you could come to me. Are you hurt? A little bit. Would you mind elaborating? Well, I mean, yeah, but first I want to tell you that I have you on speakerphone. Um, they're a person I saved, and they don't really trust me. I see. I apologize for my curtness, but are you another supernatural? No. 
Melody, what happened? Well, you... Do you remember that idea I ran by you a few weeks back? Speakerphone for a moment, if you please. I warned you what could happen if you tried this. They're walking their own road to recovery, and to see you might throw them right back to where they started, or worse. How did they react when they saw you? They were afraid, but, but Doc, they were on drugs. They were living in some little shack by a river, and they looked like they were a month out from dying when I found them. And those people had a hold on them, I, I couldn't let it go, even if they weren't someone I knew. And, and they already know that monsters are real, so I wasn't revealing any earth-shattering truths. But... I'm still sorry. I was selfish, I know. But if I hadn't come to them, then they might be dead by now. I'll need to hear more about it later. <sighs> All right. Put me back on. Hello again. I'm sorry if it sounds like I'm ignoring you. But I assure you that I'm not. Before I continue, I need to ask. Did you notice anything strange happening before Melody came to you? Hmm. Well, were you on drugs that are known to cause hallucinations? LSD? Peyote? Salvia? Get a mean sometimes. Can you remember if it was recent? All right. What did you like to take? Okay. No, I'm almost done. Don't worry. What about after Melody's first visit? I see. How long do you think was it since you'd last taken anything? All right. Well, I'll admit that this isn't how I thought this call would go. But, as Van Halen said, you've got to roll with the punches. So, if I can help, I will. Do you know where you are? Melody, do you? Arizona. All right. Give me a little while, and I'll come get you. Do you have food there? Someone left some cat food behind, but nothing else. Then I'll bring some food, too. Could you also bring a first aid kit, just in case? And... Can you maybe bring Junior along, too? I'm still really weak from the fight. I was already planning on bringing her along. Now, I know you're afraid. I know this situation is stressful for you. And you've been handling it very well from what I've gathered. I'm going to be there. Hopefully tomorrow night at some point, and I'll see what I can do about getting you some proper medical attention. It wouldn't be wise for you to try to run. We don't know if there's anything else out there. I know. I know. Trust me. She's told me everything about that night. She's done many terrible things. But she has 
change. I can assure you of that. It's been difficult for her, as it would be for any human criminal offender. She isn't my first supernatural patient, but she's shown so much growth. I'm very proud of her. And for you. For sticking through it. I would also like to say that I'm bringing another patient of mine. She's also fairly intimidating in appearance. But she's also someone that I put my trust in. Hang on. Help is coming. So, are you gonna be okay? I get ya. This is all more than I expected to. But, I mean, it's probably worse for you. Yeah, yeah, I can see that. Sorry. But don't worry. Dr. Price is really kind. He's helped me so much, and, and he can help you, too. Hmm. What's with that look? Different. You mean the clothes? I mean, after the firefight that I got into with those drug dealers and then those freaky shapeshifter things, my old costume got pretty wrecked, so I found some new ones. Do you like them? They're from a Goodwill dumpster. These are dumpster clothes. I'm glad they aren't as baggy, though. I never realized how nice the form-fitting stuff was. I haven't seen my ribs in so long. Oh, and I still found ones that were kind of brightly colored. They're not as neon as the others were. I mean, it's all mostly black. But I'm glad for the colors. I don't know if I could ever wear just black, or gray, or ugh, beige. These blue and yellow swirls look really cool, don't you think? What? Like, the 70s threw up on me. <laughs> That's pretty good. Hey, wait, was that an actual joke? No, no, no. No, no, no. I'm... I'm just surprised is all. I mean, you know, as far as coping mechanisms are concerned, you could do a whole lot worse than make jokes. I haven't heard a good joke in a really, really long time. Thanks for that. Alright. I need to sleep. And I think you do, too. I know it's been a long day, but try and get some sleep. I'll be in the hallway. Night.